Good morning guys, it's Sid and welcome back. The other day I was like thinking of videos that I wanted to do and more specifically vlogs and I was like why don't I just film a realistic day in my life. Not that my days aren't realistic when I vlog them usually but half the time I don't leave my house. Some days like I just don't want to go anywhere and I woke up today and that's what I realized. I want to stay home. I'm gonna start out my day by talking with some of my friends from California because I miss them so much. And thanks to Google Meet for sponsoring this portion of this video. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I moved out of California after I graduated college and a lot of my friends are there and we like to talk at least once a week and stay in touch. So right now I'm gonna hop on a Google Meet video call and just say hi to my friends. And Google actually sent me a Pixel tablet that I get to try it out on. When Google first reached out to me, I didn't realize that Google Meet was something that you could use for not just meetings. So if you were like me and you also didn't really know what Google Meet is, I'm about to show you. Meet is really easy to use because it works on most devices and web browsers. So you can video call with anyone regardless of the device or the OS they're using. What's nice is if you already have an Android, it's already installed on your device and integrated into your phone. And if you're on iOS, it's just in the app store. You can make one-on-one -on -one calls or you can video chat with an entire group of your friends, which is what I like to do. And it really helps me to stay connected with those friends that I have out of state like in California. It also eliminates background noise, which is very helpful for me because I'm living with my family right now and sometimes my dogs like bark. This helps to reduce that background noise. Now I'm gonna hop on the call because I think I'm the last person to join. <laughs> Hi! So I'm with my friends. Hello. I know y'all missed me. <laughs> your boyfriend's like your <laughs> See this. Am I? Wow. So I might start doing that. Saw that we had mutuals, and then- No! <laughs> you said that? Yeah, look at all my- look at Justin. All right, I'm done with my call now. Thank you so much to Google Meet for sponsoring that portion of the video. Now back to my regular content. So I'm gonna change now into like a tanning kind of outfit. A tanning outfit? What does that even mean? Like a swimsuit. So I think I'm just gonna throw on this top with like a tank over it. One second. So I got this juicer a couple days ago. I didn't even plan on buying this when I was at the store, but I just saw it there and it was like $10 and I thought it'd be fun. This was like an electric one, supposedly, so it makes it a little bit easier than just hand squeezing it. I bought like 10 oranges at the store because I mean business, no messing around here. Whenever I go out to breakfast or anything, I never get orange juice really, just because I'm like, I don't really like it that much. But fresh squeezed orange juice, I think is so different. It's one of those things that if you do it homemade, it's just 10 times better. Whoa, oh no. I got six oranges, so let's hope this makes enough. I just like didn't know quantifying oranges to orange juice. I assume this is one of those things that you can't really mess up. I'm not even gonna read the directions just because I hate doing that. So let's just hope. I mean, it seems like very insinuated. I put the orange here and then this here. Okay, do I just press it? Oh my God. Wait, I should, I should probably read the directions. Okay, yeah, you just press down, select the pulp you want, which I don't like pulp. Okay, the juice is coming out. This is cool, wait, I kinda love it. Wow, look at that, wow. This is pretty cool, guys, this is pretty cool. <laughs> So this is the aftermath. I only ended up using three oranges and it produced way more juice than I expected. And that little contraption just worked so much better than I thought it would. So I'm going to take the lid off and then pour it in some cups with some ice. Wow, that made the perfect glass of orange juice. Taste test time. Mmm, it's so good. I think I found my new thing. Now every vlog, you guys are gonna see me doing this. This is my new Starbucks. Minnesota summer is like extremely short. If you're from here, you would know exactly what I mean. So I just like to take advantage of it, even though I literally do not tan at all. It's very hard for me to tan, I've realized this summer. It's still just like nice to 
get some vitamin D. Sometimes I'll read a book out here too. No, none of that. None of that. None of that's going on with your feet. Okay, so I hopped out of the shower and I'm gonna get ready right now. This is what I'm wearing, by the way. I'm just throw on this tank, something really comfy, because I'm not leaving the house, and some sweats that I just got. I'm gonna get ready a little bit for today. I'm gonna do more like skincare stuff. I need to stop picking at my skin because like there's like a blackhead like on my lip I like freaked out because I was trying to pop it so hard that my skin like the blood circulation cut off and my like lip was white for like 20 minutes and I was kind of like oh god what did I just do I was reading the comments on my last video and it seems like a lot of you guys want me to do longer videos Actually, what prompted me to look at my comments is I got this like DM and I'm sure the girl had really nice intentions But she was like really aggressive in like the wording. She was like, why don't you just do long videos? Seriously, it's not that big of a deal. Just do them. And I was like, oh Okay, I mean obviously I love like hearing what you guys want to see basically I just wanted to ask you guys on video like do you actually want to see longer vlogs? I'm gonna rearrange my makeup you can see over there is the pile of it. I got this new makeup organizer and it's so cool. It has two levels and it spins. It's so cool, I love it. I think I'm gonna delegate this to skincare though because that's my issue. I'm like mixing my skincare and my makeup together, so. you guys something that I like to do for no reason whenever I buy these cotton rounds I just put them in this little pouch that's that's literally it and it's just cuter this way you know okay I just wanted to show you guys a quick little overview now that I organized all my makeup I ended up kind of categorizing my drawers which makes it a lot easier I made this like my foundations sunscreen drawer the second one I made more of my lips and then some eye products and then the bottom one is just miscellaneous random stuff and then I put a couple palettes up here that's just random stuff this you guys saw are my cotton pads I have my cellar water this is my everyday makeup which I didn't really need to go through. And then over here is the part I'm the most excited about, which is my skincare. I love how this turned out. I think it's so fun. It always feels so good to go through your stuff every once in a while. And I usually do this like every couple months or so. So my mom has this beautiful garden in the backyard and I wanted to pick some flowers. I'll put together like little arrangements sometimes. This is her garden. She does such a good job and she'll always like to just pick little arrangements so we can have a few in our house. Guys, these are so... These are not my best. The season's coming to an end and they're kind of drying out, but I'm gonna do the big snow globe ones. Those are pretty and I feel like it needs something large to add to this arrangement. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing. I really don't. It's honestly an art. It's actually pretty intricate guys flower arranging okay i'm assembling the arrangement i have whoa hello hello what's nice about this is you don't need to do it any type of way you can do whatever you think looks good you just need scissors to cut this is how it ended up looking i know it looks horrible and not like there's no order to this I'm just gonna fill it with water anyways, and I think my mom will like it, so. Oh my God, there's a bee in the house. Oh God, get out, get out, get out. Oh. All right, there's the flowers. It's definitely better than nothing. I wanna get better at that, you know? I want us to actually go to like a flower arranging class with my mom. I was talking with her about that, and clearly now that I just did that, I realized that I need that. I'm hungry and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to eat and I'm pretty 
in the mood for a quesadilla. That's like my go-to easy meal. It takes like two seconds and they're always so good. But I'm gonna spice it up this time, I think, instead of being boring because I have some stuff to make like almost a pico de gallo. <gasps> Wait, I have to try this on camera. I bought these the other day. And like the fruit jelly things that you like pop into your mouth. And I've only done them once before and it did not work out for me. How do you do this again? Oh! Oh my god, it's liquid. I don't think this is what I thought it was. Oops. Quesadilla is looking good. Okay, we're in a little predicament. I have no avocado. And that was kind of what I thought I would mix the pico in. But I do have these like mushed avocado guac packet things. So I'm just gonna see if this works. I feel like it should. I'm just gonna empty this into here. Now I'm gonna take some of the tomato and onion that I cut up and put it in. Okay, this might work actually. Obviously I need to take my lime. That is like the key part to good pico. Mix it together. Okay, this is the final product. The only thing is I definitely did not need to add more salt. Like there's definitely already salt in the avocado. <laughs> Delicious. Quesadilla never fails me, ever.